higher taxes. We could talk about this all day. <laughs> Steve and Charlie, thank you. Appreciate your time today. And later, Democrats in Washington have been accused for years of bowing to union pressure. And now a bill proposed by Senator Bob Casey isn't doing that stereotype any favors at all. The Pennsylvania Democrat has introduced legislation that critics claim will funnel over $160 billion of your taxpayer money into private union hands in order to save their mismanaged pension funds. Vincent Bernuccio is a former Labor Department official and is currently the Labor Policy Counsel for the Competitive Enterprise Institute. Vincent, welcome. Great to see you, sir. Hey, Jerry, thanks for having me. Well, you know what? It's another day and another union bailout by Washington. This time they're trying to bail out the union's horribly mismanaged, underfunded pension plans. Uh, Senator Casey introduced a bill which has uh, almost the same language as uh, Representative Earl Pomeroy's bill that would create an extra line in the Pension Benefit Guarantee Corporation, the PBGC. Right, 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 that right. Would use Vince, let, let me stop you there for just a second because I want to break sure. this down slowly and get people up to speed on this story because it's really pretty darn complicated. What we're talking about here really is a bailout, a bailout of union pensions. And why do they need it? Because union pensions have been mishandled. Tell me, Vince, from your point of view, how they've been mishandled. Okay, well, essentially, it's a giant Ponzi scheme. Uh, the unions make deals with the employers, and they promise extravagant benefits and pensions to the workers, but they don't fund those pensions adequately. They make deals saying that, oh, well, we'll fund it at a lower percentage, a lower discount rate than mm -hmm. is needed, and they say, we're going to, you know, estimate, you know, 8 9% interest, kind of like the states are doing, and that's how they got into their pension problems. Right. And then they promised great benefits to their workers. All right. Fast all forward all, what for a second, Vince, and, and what sure. you see is that uh, a lot of these pensions were underfunded. Some of the companies that were funding them went out of business. So now they're in trouble. They're looking for money. And this fall, or maybe after the midterm elections, uh, the Democrats are going to come to the legislature with a bill saying, hey, Let's have the taxpayers make up the difference. And I want to show folks some numbers uh, about the losses here, what's going on with those numbers. When you look at how much the PBGC uh, is on the hook for, it's astonishing. $165 billion of taxpayer money could go to this uh, if this bill passes. So take a look at these numbers. The PBGC, Pension Benefit Guarantee Corporation, these are the people who stand behind uh, pensions offered by private companies. They are funded by the companies themselves, not by taxpayer dollars. But this would all change under the terms of this bill. And you can see they're already in the red. Uh, what would this mean for taxpayers, do you think, Vince? Well, um, the low estimates, and this is from Senator Casey himself, is it would only cost $10 billion. Don't, don't you love how in D.C. $10 billion is an only? And at the high end, <laughs> reported by the Wall Street Journal, the D.C. Examiner, and uh, right here on Fox News, uh, it looks like it might may be as high as $165 billion. So while you see your 401k sinking because a little bit because excuse me, because of the economy, you're also going to pay for the bailout of these pension plans. So it's your money and it's my money, and it's absolutely unfair. And the reason the unions are getting this is because of all the campaign contributions. Remember, they spent over $450 million to get Democrats elected in the 2008 election. Earlier today, President Obama said that corporations have too much excess cash and they should push some of that excess cash to uh, shoring up their pension plans. Well, I got a better idea. Why don't the unions take some of the money that they're spending on politics and get their own house in order and shore up their own pension plans? Well, okay, I'm going to play devil's advocate with you because somebody has to. Uh, so tell me, you know, how else would you fund this? What else would you do? A lot of these companies that were funding these pensions are out of business. Somebody has to pick up the tab. Who should do it? Well, I tell you who shouldn't do it. It's the people that had nothing to do with making these deals. It shouldn't be you, it shouldn't be me, and it shouldn't be the American taxpayer. The unions have to come up with a better plan to paying their retirees. And whether that's a letting these the workers and the retirees opt out of these completely underfunded botched pension plans, give them some cash, allow them to go into a defined contribution plan, a 401k IRA style plan, 
or something similar. That's the real solution here. Instead, what they're doing is they're pushing legislation like the Employee Free Choice Act because they need new members to pay for the retirement of the old members. It is a giant Ponzi scheme. I mean, it's just like right. Bernie Madoff on steroids. I mean, that's well, essentially I gotta, what this is. I got to interrupt you here. What kind of handicap? What would you say? Is this going to pass or not? Is this going to become law? You know, Are I, we going to be paying for these uh, the retirements of folks that, you know, should have been paid for by somebody else? You know, I couldn't speak to that. I'm not really sure, but I tell you, the chances just went up earlier this week. The Wall Street Journal reported that the second most powerful senator, Dick Durbin, the Senate Majority Whip, signed on as a co-sponsor of this bill. So the chances this week are much better than it was last week. All right. What I think you should really be careful well, of is them tacking this stuff onto another bill and oh. burying it somewhere and barely seeing the light of day. Vince, thanks for your time today. We appreciate it. Great. Thanks for having me. Coming up, one of the most high-profile Democrats shots the world by stating clearly...